India's industrial transformation, starting in the 1990s, paved the way for a growing and innovative humanoid robotics market. In a relatively short amount of time, the world's most populous country has gone from irrelevance to a significant player in robotics. Now let's look back at how India's humanoid robots have evolved. We are a team from India, and the name of our robot is Achyok. This is our first humanoid, and we represent we our college Bips Pilani. In 2008, a relentless team of engineering students created India's first indigenously built humanoid robot. The undergraduates built the bipedal robots prototype using scrap aluminum and old motors at the Bits Palani Robotics Lab. The proof of concept fueled a successful fundraising campaign. The team scrambled to order parts and assembled the Akute robot within eight months. Akute means imperishable in Sanskrit. Standing 1.2 meters, the robot catapulted India into the global humanoid robotics arena through competitions. Team Akyu placed sixth among 28 participating countries in RoboGames 08 and climbed the ranks in subsequent years. Built with lightweight aluminum and advanced motors, the robot kicked like a martial artist and danced to Bollywood numbers. The team used open source code for obstacle avoidance and task execution. The team continuously improved the robot with successive revisions. Akyu 2 emerged in 2009 with better motors an onboard computer, and wireless control. In 2010, the team built Ocu3 even faster and easier to control with a teleoperation body suit. In 2011, Ocu4 debuted as India's first autonomous humanoid robot. The team streamlined the robot's mechanical design, upgraded its processor, and added an image processor and vision sensor so it could interact with its surroundings dynamically. In 2012, the team upped the ante with Ocu5, developing algorithms for ball tracking, localization, path planning, and more autonomous behavior. It was India's most advanced humanoid robot to date. Akute 6 focused on enhanced stability and durability, leading to competitive successes at RoboCup competitions in the Netherlands and Iran in 2013. For the last iteration, Akute 7, the team maintained the predecessor's mechanical design but added significant computing power. With a new behavior framework and software enhancements, the robot finished sixth place at RoboCup 2015 in China. Through this era, perceptions of India were shifting due to its rapid economic growth, industrial transformation, and tech advancements. The Akute series proved India could compete with robotics giants, showcasing its engineering and innovation globally. Do you want to hear it? Do you want to listen to it? Do you want to see it? Do you want to see Manav dancing? Yes or no? Okay, that's more like it. So, um... Manav is India's first 3D printed humanoid robot. It is made by an Indian and designed completely in India. The New Delhi-based ASET Training and Research Institutes developed the lightweight creation in 2014 to bring robotics into classrooms. Dawa Karvesh, head of robotics and research, designed the robot and presented it at IIT Mumbai Tech Fest 2015. Manav means human or mankind in Sanskrit and Hindi. The head of robotics and research at the ACED Institute in Delhi says he's preparing students to work on the technology of the future. To make these robots, to maintain these robots, we need people. A lot of people. Way more than what we have right now. And for that we need to train our new generation that is coming in. Standing 66 centimeters or 2 feet, Manav walks, dances, does push-ups, and performs other human-like motions. The robot has 21 parts with inbuilt sensors including two cameras for eyes and two microphones for ears. With binocular vision processing, the 2-kilo robot perceives depth and perspective. It's sourced entirely from parts manufactured in India. The robot's outer structure is 3D printed ABS plastic. 16 servo motors power the humanoid smooth limb movements. Could you please explain yourself? My name is Indro, the humanoid robot of India. India's tallest humanoid robot, Indro, was introduced to the world in 2016. Standing 2 meters or 6.5 feet, Indro was created by Santosh Vasudeo Hulawail using low-cost materials like aluminum, plastic, and wood. The intention was to create an affordable yet functional humanoid robot. 
Indra lifts up to 2 kilograms with its hands and carries up to 150 kilos on a platform below its knees. It recognizes people it's interacted with previously, providing personalized experiences. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce you to Mithra, an indigenous robot developed by a young startup from Bengaluru. In 2017, Mitra by Invento Robotics gained significant attention for its social butterfly antics. At the Global Entrepreneurship Summit in Hyderabad, the humanoid robot greeted Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Ivanka Trump. So GES 2017 was kicked off literally by a robot. Uh, can you tell me the idea about Mitra? Uh, me and my husband, uh, we both moved uh, last year uh, from US and uh, we want to do something very innovative in India. And uh, we uh, had a, we built a small prototype and uh, we did it in a uh, small maker space kind of. And uh, that got a huge recognition and uh, that uh, kicked us uh, off and we got that momentum. And luckily we got a very great team and uh, who worked day and night and uh, here we are uh, in one year uh, uh, have uh, had a first molded prototype. Everything done in our garage uh, in Bangalore and uh, so we are uh, very excited. Bengaluru-based Invento designed the robot primarily to interact with customers in service industries like retail, hospitality and banking. Users interact with Mitra via a 10-inch touchscreen on its chest. With its integrated camera system, Mitra remembers faces and provides personalized responses during interaction. Imagine you're going into a cafeteria where a robot uh, greets you, can identify you with your face, and then can map uh, your taste and your dietary and wellness needs with what is available in the cafeteria and, and then help you pick the right one and within a few seconds uh, you should be able to get yourself ordered and then and then move on. It uses natural language processing to communicate in several languages including English, Hindi and Kannada. Standing 1.5 meters and weighing 50 kilos, the robot runs on a rechargeable battery that typically lasts 8 to 10 hours. Mitra navigates autonomously using LiDAR and ultrasonic sensors to detect obstacles and move safely in crowded environments. It can be monitored and controlled remotely, so operators can take manual control if needed. Mitra has been used at places like hotels, stores, banks, and healthcare facilities, greeting guests, answering questions, and guiding customers. It seems that the Kerala police has a new recruit and that stands apart from its peers. That's because of its, it's a robot. That's right. In 2019, KP Bot became India's first humanoid robocop. Basically what uh, the robot has a camera here, which actually has a facial recognition technology. So any criminal coming, we, if we actually feed all those data in the computer, it, it can actually uh, detect that criminal and he can stop it. Suppose it's a DGP or somebody coming whom he recognizes, he will actually uh, salute and welcome them to the this thing. So the facial recognition technology is available. Then we... Kochi-based startup Asimov Robotics developed the AI robot in collaboration with the Kerala Police Cyberdome, the police department's technological research and development unit. KP Bot holds the rank of sub-inspector, performing front office duties. Another humanoid is also referred to as India's Robocop. HBOTS Robotics developed the 1.7-meter robot for tasks like receiving complaints, recording audio and video clips, recognizing suspects, detecting metals, and monitoring temperature. This robot cop is intended for public and private security, including law enforcement and order management at malls and airports. In other news, what if we tell you that a robot can work as a teacher or as a receptionist even? It is possible. An Indian computer science teacher turned garbage into a technological marvel. Dinesh Kanwar Patel, inspired by the movie Antherin and Hanson Robotics' Sophia, spent three years assembling shalu from waste materials like cardboard, wood, newspapers, and aluminum, as well as items readily available at the local market. Great to meet you. He introduced the humanoid robot in November 2020. 
Chalu speaks 47 languages, making it exceptionally versatile as an educational humanoid. Me. But I would like to speak that it was really a tough journey for my father to bring me into existence in low budget with many versatile capabilities. The robot can act as a teaching assistant and respond to questions on an array of subjects. As for your date of birth, your sun sign is Pisces. Object all you want, but things are changing and they are going to keep changing. That's the nature of life. Learn to Shalu software is built from open source tools like TensorFlow and NLTK. Jai Hind. Jai Hind Shalu Ji. Jai Hind. Vilmitra will soon become India's first humanoid robot in space. The Indian Space Research Organization developed the robot to simulate human functions and assist astronauts during the Gaganyaan mission. The robot will join the first uncrewed three-day test flight of the Gaganyaan mission, aiming to send Indian astronauts into space. Vilmitra is a half-humanoid with only an upper body. It can talk, issue alerts, and monitor the spacecraft to ensure safety. The robot speaks Hindi and English. The name Vyomitra means friend in the sky, with Vyoma meaning space in Sanskrit. The ISRO recently finalized the 800 gram skull's design. According to India Express, the skull is built from a super strong and lightweight aluminum alloy. The mission is India's first attempt to send people into space using a spacecraft built entirely in India by ISRO. During the three day mission, the Vyomitra will be evaluated to see how well it can perform tasks monitor the spacecraft, and interact with systems. The test flight is scheduled for December 2024. Anushka is the first humanoid robot with a beating heart. It's also the first robot with intelligence based on Vedic values, which are ancient Indian principles of self-awareness, right thinking, and moral behavior. And it was built from scrap parts found in a dump yard. It took students from the Krisha Institute of Engineering and Technology in India about a year and a half to build the humanoid robot. Its face is made from 3D printed flexible silicone skin. It's powered by an i7 processor, uses natural language processing for understanding and responding to queries, and relies on OpenAI's technology to select and process data for interaction. The project was completed on a shoestring budget of less than $2,500. Today, a new generation of innovators is pushing India's humanoid robots into the future. Robots like Tara by iHub Robotics, shown here at the Kochi Mall, are leading the charge with advanced AI-powered interactions and versatility across industries. To stay up to date as technology evolves in India and the rest of the world, make sure to subscribe.